for the spot, you're gonna you're gonna collimate in both directions. So I'm gonna put my marker closer, not it doesn't have to be exactly in the center, but just down from the center and in some. Your angulation is going to depend on if it's a male or a female. For a male, you angle 5 degrees. For a female, you angle 8. And that's towards the feet. Somewhere right around 8. And your book says that the centering point is going to be 2 inches posterior to the ASIS and 1.5 inches inferior to the iliac crest. That's a little hard to exactly find, so the easiest way to do that is to find the top of the crest and you make a karate chop. You don't have to go, wow. <laughs> make it, gently make a karate chop and then you're going to form it into a C and not a straight up C. You want to curve your fingers into a C and your centering point is going to be at the very middle of that C. Oh, sorry. No, you're fine. The yes. other way, uh-huh. That's the spot. The other way I do it is I take my third digit and put it at the top of the crest and then I extend my second digit out. I do both. If I'm actually doing a lumbar spine, I'll make the C and then I'll extend my second digit out. And then you're just going to collimate in. Not right there. How do you know how much to collimate? Uh, you're states how much to collimate. I'm collimated to about a 9 by 8. Because you're looking at that L5 S1. Yeah. Because you're looking at the L5 S1, so you want to make sure you're seeing L5 and the sacrum. Okay.